everyone, thank you for watching. So we've had a lot of questions on how my friends here are able to control the lights. Well, a little secret, it actually has nothing to do with them. It's the Samsung SmartThings Hub. Case in point, let me give you a demonstration. Alexa, turn on the cabinet lights. Okay. What a bright idea. Hey Google, turn off the cabinet lights. Sure, turning the cabinet lights off. Here are our switches. Now we've actually installed the Z-Wave switches for this particular unit. It is controlled by the Samsung SmartThings Hub. It is also possible to use the Wemo switches, which do not require the Hub. For security reasons, however, I prefer to use the Hub. Welcome to a tight space. Here is my fridge. <laughs> and we're actually behind it because I tried to hide the wires. This is the Z-Wave. And so I've plugged it in here. And if you like, you can actually view another one of my videos where I've showed you how to install under cabinet lights. We're gonna go into more depth on to how to configure your various devices with the Samsung SmartThings Hub right here in another video. But in the meantime, let's help discover what we already have configured. Okay, so let's start the discovery process. Alexa, discover. Starting discovery. This can take up to 20 seconds. If you have Philips Hue, press the button on your bridge. So while she's percolating, I am going to start the Google Home process. Now the Google Home is actually done by using your phone. And to demonstrate that, we're gonna take you over to the TV and show you how Chromecast is used. Discovery is complete. I found 17 smart home devices. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. Come on over. As you can see, I've casted my phone to the TV. Now, if you wanna see how that's done, there is a video down below and feel free to watch that. So now I'm gonna take you into the how to set up a room with lights. Okay, so we are going to go straight here and I am going to go to home control. I'm now going to flip my phone landscape wise so that you can see better. And I am going to go now to the plus sign. I'm going to go into the Smart Things, which is a linked device, and I'm going to check for new devices. It should be configuring right now. Now there's a pull down menu. You select one. I'm going to select Home. And then I am going to check the three lights that are not checked, which is the upstairs, 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 the hallway light and the walk-in light bulb. I'm going to authorize, and it should be loading right now. It is syncing as we speak. Sink or swim? Well, it's definitely syncing. So now that we've assigned our devices, I'm going to assign these devices to a room. So we're going to go over to our next tab, which is the rooms, and I'm going to click on upstairs. As you can see, it has zero devices, zero devices. So click on upstairs, and they should be there. Doo -doo. Upstairs. So they're all there now. So I'm going to click on them. Those are our three ones that we've done. And now we're going to click on done. And it is going to save the room. And that, my friends, is how you configure it. Saving the room. Yes, the room has been saved thanks to this device. After following those steps, the synchronization is complete and your Samsung SmartThings Hub is at your fingertips, ready to control your devices from any room. If you enjoyed this video, or even if you didn't, leave us your comments below. We welcome your feedback, ask questions, we're happy to answer them, and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.